Hey, welcome back guys, it's fully up and welcome to another episode of Minecraft. I've got a few things, before we get stuck into today's episode, I've got a few things I need to run through with you, a few changes that I've been making in the background over the last week or so. The first one, you might have noticed, my armour is looking kind of swanky, uh, and that's because I've changed to the better than default texture pack, uh, which is basically better than default. Uh, and I like it, I'm kind of liking it so far, you'll have to let me know what you think, but so far, so good. Uh, it's made the sun round, which is which uh, it looks more like the sun, I suppose. Some people like it, some people might not. It's made the crops very yellow, I've noticed that. One of the first things I noticed was the, the, the fact that the crops are very yellow. Uh, it's also put weeds in the grass, I like that. Uh, it's given villagers, uh, or some of them anyway, some new clothing. Yeah, I'm not, not disliking that. It's made the glass look like glass. Also, the clear glass, which I can't show you because I don't have any clear glass on me, but the clear glass is actually clear glass. It doesn't have those annoying uh, squares in it. I used to hate that. Anyway, it's, it's now clear in this texture pack. Uh, I've also started using Audacity to record my audio. So hopefully you'll start noticing clearer audio, which is a good thing. Uh, it, I've noticed uh, an immediate difference, so if I have, then hopefully you have. And also, look at this. We have these bad boys down here, hello fellas. So the village of Breeder works. Uh, uh, there's a tweak I want to do to it, because I, something I noticed earlier on. The way the, the village of Breeder works, and I mentioned it in the last episode, I wanted it to be switchable so you could turn it on and turn it off. But because of how Minecraft works, uh, it doesn't turn off and on immediately. So there is a chance that I could turn it off and still for a few minutes after that, uh, villagers are able to breed, which is bad. And I'll show you why. I should have shown you why while I was up there. But I'll show you why now. Come on, get up these stairs. I'll be as fit as a butcher's dog by the end of this episode when I up and down these stairs. Oh, also on my hot bar, the new texture pack puts a, uh, a gold square around the item I'm carrying. I like that. What I found was, and I came up here just by pure chance to see a villager had spawned, a villager had bred uh, and been born after I'd turned the water off. Uh, and it left him stood there, which wasn't ideal, because if he grew up up here, it would completely wreck the village of Breeder. So I'm going to put in some kind of failsafe that involves a daylight sensor that automatically flushes the system uh, every 24 hours. It takes a villager 24 hours to grow up. So if the system flushes, if it does that, every 24 hours, any villager that's up here will get washed down this down there which uh, uh, which will help me out no end I've also opened and closed the trap door uh, the uh, sticky piston up there so I'm hoping they won't get won't get randy while I'm now I've done that just to show you and anyway, if they do they do I'll have to flush it through won't I a ho Also, 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 I've got a big thank you to say to somebody else, and I don't know who it is yet. Uh, it's to me from a big fan, and it's a <laughs> it's a Depth Strider two book and a Bane of Arthropods five book, fantastic, at Box Sword, which is going to come in brilliant uh, with my spider spawner, because at the moment I'm killing one spider with every swing. Uh, and I could do with a Bane of Arthropod sword. So thank you very much for that, whoever you are. I will try and find out who you are and give you a shout out. Stick a plaque on the wall, thanking you. Right, main event of the day. I, I want to set up and start the villager breeding. Villager breeding. I want to set up and start the villager trading hall, which is going to be over that way. The main entrance to the base is going to be over that way. Um, so these guys, although they're here, are going to be moving that way. So I need to find a mahusive area to move these guys into. So I'm going to be doing a lot of digging, uh, which I won't bore you with. But that's what I'm going to be doing over the next 
couple of hours or so in my marathon Minecraft session. Alright, progress update. I've decided to build it here. This is where it's going. Oh, and I need to thank Shrekster, actually. Uh, thank you, Shrekster. You, you, <laughs> thank you, Shrekster, for, for sorting me out. I was around the corner, around here. Uh, there was Dorian was here, and, uh, uh, and and I was over there doing something. All of a sudden, I started getting beaten up. Uh, so I'm being beaten up, and I turn around, and it's Shrekster. So I walk around, and he's beckoning me to come around the corner. So I followed him around. There's a zombie... Get this, stood there, trying to eat these guys. Now, bearing in mind what happened to me getting them here in the first place upstairs with zombies trying to eat people through the walls, you'd have thought I'd have been a bit more careful, but no. Uh, fortunately, Shrekster saw it. I don't know how he did it. I mean, the geezer's got a, a sixth sense or something, and he's like Batman, he, but he was here. He just happened to be here at the right time. He saw the dude. I ran around the corner killed it so thank you Shrekster for helping me out there otherwise I'd have been God, I would have been, I'd have been villagerless so a zombie would have got in there a zombie villager they'd have all been brown bread wouldn't they so anyway I'm building the villager trading hall up here and I'm wishing now that I'd got a beacon because there's a lot of digging I'm not averse to a bit of digging but there's uh, it's not a lot of digging is it I'm bleating about nothing anyway this is going to be the villager trading hall and the, the, the villagers are basically going to go in lines down here and then down I don't know down here ish and uh, and I'm going to be able to walk down the middle of them and peruse the guys and say, yeah 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 and back and oh yeah yeah you're alright the ones I don't like press a button bump they go through the floor and that's it that's the last you'll see of them uh, meanwhile New villagers that are being bred upstairs are going to go along the water chute down there, down to the uh, the uh, the villager containment centre uh, down there, whatever you want to call it, holding pen. As much as I don't like using the word, uh, they're going to be down there, and as soon as they're down there, they're going to be stuck into minecarts and fired up here, and then they'll enter a system along the top with water along there, and then with rails along there, and then with water along there again until they find a hole for them to fall into, a bay for them to fall into and then they'll fall into it and the the, uh, the, the trap door will close at the top uh, and it'll stop new villagers falling in and that way I'm going to have a ready supply of villagers to trade with and I can also get rid of the ones that have got really rubbish trades so anyway this is where I'm building it I just thought I'd give you an update as to uh, how far I've got in the last four hours uh, because I'm crap at digging uh, I'll bring you back in when I've got more to show you. Right, I, I nearly made a catastrophic error just then and I thought I'd point it out to you guys in case you're thinking of doing something similar. Um, some of you may or may not know that rails are directional. They snap together in one direction much better than they do in another direction, uh, which is not obvious when you're only putting them in a straight line, but when you're trying to put them side by side, it gets really, really, uh, it gets to be such a problem. Now, these rails for my villager trading hall are going to be next to each other. So basically, they're going to be like that. There's going to be three of them uh, on blocks, so they go down at a diagonal. But if you do it facing, if you press F3, if you do this facing north-south like this, when you come to put the rails next to them, they snap together. They only snap east-west. So my villager trading hall is going to have to run, the middle is going to have to run this way. And the villagers are going to have to be on this side and on this side. Otherwise, putting these tracks down is going to be almost impossible. So I just thought I'd share that with you. If you're ever doing anything similar to this that require rails to be put down next to each other, you really need to be putting them down east to west. Because that way they don't, they don't snap together. Uh, as I say, if you, if you try to do it this way, it does that. And you finish up having to do that and then do a, a rails, like one uh, one rail shorter and then deleting them. And, and Oh, it's an absolute pain. And if you actually get one wrong halfway down, 
and then you, you have to start again. It's uh, it's it's a tragedy, tragedy. So, bit of a change of plan. I'm not doing it that way, and that way. I'm now doing it that way, and that way. It's not going to make a blind bit of difference as to the uh, the functionality of it and how I get villages to it and whatever. Uh, but as I say, I just thought I'd bring it to your attention, and uh, and hopefully stop you from making the same mistake I nearly made. Right, time for another update. Uh, th I've this is where they're going to go. Then this is where the the minecarts are going to run down the middle to get rid of the uh, the villages that we don't need. They're going to go off to. You don't really want to know where they're going to go off to. Because it's not going to be pleasant, is it? Uh, and the villages are going to sit here on minecarts. And then I'm going to walk down the middle of them. This is going to be raised glass roof on it. I'm going to walk down the middle of them and peruse them at my leisure. So this is how far we've got so far. Uh, next step, I suppose, is to stick the rails in all the way down the sides. Put the uh, put the rails in and then put the redstoney, magicy, magicy stuff uh, around the back. And I'll show you. I'll show you a bit of that later. Hey guys, I brought you back again to have a quick shifty at the uh, the redstone mechanism that uh, we're going to be using to to get the villagers to drop into the into the slots into the 15 bays I've got down each side and basically this is it there's a uh, detector rail there uh, and while there's nothing on the detector rail that fence gate at the top is going to remain open there's going to be a water stream running uh, along the top of there now water won't run through a fence gate but the villagers in minecarts will drop through the fence gate it's uh, it's great uh, but when a villager does come down here and fall through and lands on here the fence gate closes which basically stops another villager from falling into the uh, into this slot and they'll just go over over the top uh, and into the next slot or keep going round and round and round until there's a spare slot once uh, I've checked the villager out that's in there and decided whether I want him or not. Um, if I don't want him, I'll press a button, a trap door will open, the villager will whiz off down there, uh, and the fence gate will open again, allowing a new villager to fall in. So I'm going to stick in redstone uh, and rails on either side, and then if you want, you can have a look when I've finished. All right, everybody, I've, uh, I've done a bit more work uh, and I've put some rails in at the bottom and I've stuck uh, the, the blocks in around the back of all of the redstone that's, that's over here. That's all going to be encased, uh, covered up. I'm definitely going to replace the stone at the front, but I don't know with what yet. I'm definitely going to replace the wood planks at the back, probably with bookshelves. And I'm probably going to change the top as well. But at the moment, all I've got on me is stone because that's all I've been digging out. I'll mess about with the aesthetics later. Anyway, I've uh, I need to go and do some repairing. I need to go and do some more crafting. Uh, I need to go and have a drink. And I'll see you in a second. All right, it's the following day, and I've managed to have a couple of hours sleep, which is always good. And uh, and I was uh, I've done a bit of bit more work downstairs on the on the trading hall. But I thought I'd just show you uh, this that I did, that I did up here to to well because I said I was going to do it really I think I'll try and get it in before it gets dark. Uh, but uh, like I said, if a villager is born in there and uh, and it's not the water's not flowing, it'll get trapped in there. So I put in the the safeguard the the flushing mechanism that we spoke about the other day, which basically I don't think I'm going to have time to do it. Basically, no, it's not enough, uh, not enough power. But anyway, when the, when that lights up, it goes through a monostable circuit, which is there, which fires the, which fires the uh, the dispenser. So the water shoots out, and after a little short delay, I don't know, two or three seconds, caused by those repeaters, it fires again, sucking the water back in. So any little fellas that are in there are going to get washed down the hole. Uh, and as I say, it's a safeguard to stop villagers from growing up inside there so i thought i'd show you that because that's the kind of guy i am so back to this villager trading hall quicker
Right, we'll go this way because this is this is where it all starts. They come down a down the chute. Like you, well, well, I think I'm sure I've shown you shown it to you. Uh, they finish up in here, and a minecart is going to pick them up from there. Pick them up through the wall, which is the one good good thing about minecarts. So pick villagers up through. We'll pick en any entity up through the wall actually, as long as it's through a corner. Uh, it'll take it up there now. I can't show you at the moment because if I put a minecart on there, it'll pick one up. But a minecart will be here all the time, regardless of whether villagers are there. It'll be rolling up and down the tracks, waiting for a villager to come. And because a minecart doesn't travel as far when it doesn't have an entity in it, it'll only get up to about here. And it'll keep going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Villager turns up, jumps in the minecart, it reaches this powered rail, and then, whee, off it goes. So it'll bring it up here, up here, drop a little ride for it, up here. And spit it out down there. I've got some carts in there at the moment just to test it. Now, doing my testing, uh, if I didn't have that block there, they'd fly straight out and miss the first couple of bays. Um, so obviously, I put the put the block there to stop them from doing that. So they'll fall onto these fence posts and fence gates, uh, and then they'll start their journey around the uh, the villager trading hall. Um, if the gates are closed, they'll just go straight over. Uh, there's got to be gaps in there because of the signs, but once we've got a few villagers in here, they'll they'll start pushing each other around, so none of them will get stuck. When they get to this side, they go up this, uh, they fall off the, uh, the water chute onto the powered rails, they go round here, same McJiggy again, they fall down um, onto this side of the uh, the trading hall and they'll go down here uh, and if there's no bays open either side they'll just keep going around and around now I've had to raise it here because I was finding that they were coming around the corner uh, and they were hitting the villagers that were already in there because the water doesn't take them very quickly they were hitting the villagers and then going back around the track and it was causing me no end of grief so that's why I've had to raise them up uh, and that's why they're on two different levels. If they fall on top of each other, the one at the bottom will move, the one at the top won't move. Um, and it stops them from being forced back down the, the track and causing a bit of a backup. So now you've seen that. And yes, now you've seen that. This is the, the trading hall as it is at the moment. Uh, so the village is in here, yada, 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 press buttons, yada, yada, yada. So that's what it's looking like at the moment. We're very, very close to getting these villages in. And I think that's what we're going to be doing next. I just need to do the return. The return's going to go through there, over that way. Uh, they'll probably suffocate in the, the walls. And <laughs> because that's the most humane way I can think of doing it. They'll suffocate in the walls. And the minecart will be returned on rails to a cactus and then put back into the uh, back into the system now one thing I didn't show you oh I'll show you in a minute I'll show you when, we, when we've got it up and running I'll show you so anyway that's where we are at the moment next step get these bad boys uh, up into the system right well I did record getting these bad boys up into the system and it worked perfectly however uh, something went wrong with the recording uh, it's probably lies between the keyboard and the chair actually the problem but uh, anyway the footage was useless i couldn't use it so consequently i didn't uh, i didn't get it working which is a which is a well a bit of a pain in the backside really but what can you do but it works the the minecart rocks backwards and forwards till the babies come down and then they get picked up and get transferred upstairs which is where we'll go now and I'll show you, I'm quite impressed with it actually. It's working, well, I was gonna say it's working better than it should, better than I thought it would do. It's working exactly the same as I thought it would do. So that's not a bad thing. Um, but anyway, this is this is where they, they're coming up there, as you know, uh, they go along the top uh, until they come to an open bay and they fall in. It's brilliant. Um, as I say, some of them when the gates are open at the top, as they fall, they, they don't fall straight down. They fall at a, a bit of an angle. Uh, so sometimes they go in the bay next to it, but the next one that comes along will fall back down into that bay. So it's working perfectly. Uh, now, as you know, these fellas are useless. 
you are going to be in my first crash test dummy uh, because uh, well like it's been running I don't know I'm looking at my watch now about 20 minutes now a bit longer than that about three quarters of an hour um, and as well as this six or seven I had down no it wasn't that many either was it, it was four or five as well as the ones we had downstairs when I started uh, these have been bred since the last video was shot uh, so it's not that long at all the the only thing that's going to slow it down now is how quick I can get food to the guys upstairs uh, but I'm going to be working on that soon so we'll see um, well we'll see what happens to you shall we so are you ready hello are you watching you're gonna uh, yeah yeah you 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 you're not interested are you oh this is also why it was very important that they hadn't been fed otherwise they'd be throwing food to each other now and they'd be breeding and yeah be tears and mass panic and everything else. Anyway. I'm hoping, and it's a very cruel thing to say, but I'm hoping he's died. Because if he hasn't, that means he's alive and running around down the bottom here somewhere. Nope, he's died. Fantastic, so that works as well, my little my little killing chamber. I shouldn't be proud of anything like that, should I? But anyway, um, so this is it. This is the villager trading hall. Uh, it will be tarted up. Uh, I'll put a nice roof on it. There'll be some proper lights in it as and when I get them. I want to find a guardian temple. We'll be, uh, we'll be making use of that. Uh, but And uh, <laughs> I've got to start getting myself some gear now to start trading with these guys. I mean, what's he got? 37, so he's not bad. 39, you're useless. 39, useless. 38. I'll leave them all in, uh, apart from the green coats, which are obviously useless, until it's all filled up and we've got them going around the top. I really do want to see how that works and whether or not it causes me a problem. Later on, we've got a little fellow up there as well. Hey, little fella. Uh, so I want it. I want it full down the bottom, and I want it working around the top, just to, just to make sure there are no bugs in it. Uh, and uh, yeah, and we'll play with, we'll play with this. We'll get ourselves some diamonds. Although I'm not quite sure what, what we do with diamonds on the server. Actually, you can only use them to trade with, can't you? Maybe we'll get some decent armor, some decent tools out of these guys. Maybe. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? Really. Uh, but so far it's working. So thank you for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Fully Off in his new trading hall. And I'm out of here.